Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make a wig that has space buns. For this particular wig I tried using pantyhose to create the wig cap, but you use whatever material you prefer. We'll need a fair few wefts for this wig, both long and short. The short wefts are for making the part between the hairline that goes up to the bun, and the long wefts are for making the bun itself. I used alpaca at its full length for the bun's weft. Here's our guidelines. For a doll as small as Lighty Yellow, I don't really put fiber along the bottom of the wig cap. It tends to curl and get in the way a bit. So we have two layers of hair along the back, the part down the middle, and the two dots for where the buns will go. As always, I attach a piece of hair over the sideburns to make the wig look more natural and then start gluing along the two rows of hair at the back. You want the wefts to cover the space where the hair you'll put up into the buns will start. doesn't matter if there's a lot of glue at the top of the wig, just make sure everything below that top line is covered and neat. Letting that dry, we'll cut up the wefts and then we'll start working on the buns. I'm going to cut the long wefts at any points where they're a bit thin and then apply a thick layer of glue along the section of dried glue that's on the end of each weft. Then I'm going to cut this section down so it is extremely thin and start wrapping it around a toothpick. It can take a bit to get going but you'll get there eventually. Then we add another weft and continue wrapping. I ended up using three wefts, about 14 centimeters, but part of me wishes I'd used a little bit less. My buns ended up being quite thick. Add a layer of glue to the base of the weft roll and then we'll let that dry. section off the dried hair so it doesn't get in the way, and then start gluing wefts pointing outwards from where you'll have the bun. Do this one side of the wig at a time or everything will get confusing and messy. Do not glue along the front of the wig yet, we're just doing the middle part and then around the curve of the head. I use wider wefts for the long lengths along the middle and the curve, and then small pieces at the back here to make a neat U shape. Then we let this dry. Once it's dry, take the wig off and glue some of the short wefts to the underside of the front of the wig, along the hairline that we avoided before. Use 
Using plastic to protect the doll, pop the wig back on and let it dry so it will conform to the shape of the doll's head. Once it's all dry, we'll get to the trickiest part of the wig. Using a hair elastic, pull up all the short wefts into a tail that is positioned over the dot you drew where you intend for the buns to sit. This can take a lot of attempts. I think I did each side around eight times before I was satisfied with the way I got the fiber to sit. Then snip off the excess hair. Now add glue to the hair just slightly around the elastic and all through the hair poking up through the top. Now do it to the other side and we'll have two places for the buns to go. But there are elastics in the way, so we're going to cut those off and apply more glue to the dry hair we find underneath. Then once that glue is all dry, we can remove the remaining elastic. Let's shift back to the buns. Push the pieces of toothpick through a piece of paper. It helped me keep the bun flat on the underside so it would lie flat against the wig. Then we're going to twist the bun into the desired shape. This again can take a lot of time and a lot of tries before you get it looking nice. It definitely took me a while. Once you've got the bun into the desired shape, we can start gluing, but only on the flat underside. The easiest way I've found to do this is to twist and then add a bit of glue and then twist and then add some more glue and continue to do this until the bottom side is all flat and everything is stuck down. Once you've started gluing, the bun will start holding its shape on its own so you won't have to worry too much about accidentally letting go. If you continue gluing and twisting as I'm doing, you'll end up covering the pieces of wet hair with dry hair and this disguises them pretty well. Cut off the excess hair, making sure everything is glued nice and neatly to the underside of the bun. I also periodically squashed the buns so they were kind of flat along the bottom and I also liked that shape a lot better. Then, do it all again and we'll have two cute buns, yay! Next is the tedious part, cleaning up the edges. Using an eyebrow razor, I go in and soften the blunt cut of the fibre to make it look more natural. Seha's head kept snapping back because she's a bit loosely strung at the moment. Alright, now it's time to wiggle the buns off the toothpicks. 
If you just keep pushing and wiggling on the underside, eventually they'll pop off and you'll have yourself a tiny bun. Now for the most satisfying bit. We're going to apply some glue to the wig where we want the bun to sit, add some to the bottom of the bun itself, and then pop it on and hold it in place. You will need to hold them in place for a little bit just to make sure everything adheres and starts sticking, but after you do, you will have an adorable space bun wig! I decided to add some glitter dandruff to the parting line, I think it made it look really cute but you can decorate it however you want or not decorate it at all. I think this style really suits the blue and the purple tones of her hair, making her kind of look like a space princess. I want to make a dress that matches this wig, but I have no idea what style or even what color. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. She looks so sweet. I think this wig came out great and it makes me want to wear space buns in my hair, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, that's all for this video. If you end up using this tutorial in your wig making adventures, I'd love to see it. Do all that YouTube stuff, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!